Today, we're about to push materials to their absolute breaking point. Not metaphorically, literally. Welcome to a deep dive experiment where we test the hardest stones on Earth and the strongest metals engineered by humans, using one of the most unforgiving tools in modern mechanics, a hydraulic press. Thousands of pounds of pressure, pure vertical force, no tricks, no mercy. This isn't just for show. We're here to explore the fascinating science behind strength, pressure, and material failure. Because every crack, every bend, every Every explosion under the press tells a story about how the world is built, how it breaks down, and why it matters. Let's begin with natural stones, geological veterans that formed over millions of years beneath the Earth's crust. They've endured heat, tectonic shifts, erosion, and time itself, but can they survive our hydraulic press? First up, asterisk, asterisk, granite, asterisk, asterisk, a household name. Found in buildings, kitchen countertops, and ancient monuments, it's admired for its durability and elegance. But how does it perform under direct crushing? As the press descends, granite holds firm. No bending, no warning. Then, with a sharp sound and a fine puff of dust, it splits, not randomly, but along internal grain boundaries called cleavage planes. These invisible weaknesses are the result of how its crystalline structure formed, quartz, feldspar, mica, all packed together in a way that's strong under most conditions, but vulnerable to one thing, sudden, focused pressure. Next, we move to asterisk, asterisk, quartz, asterisk, asterisk. Quartz is one of the hardest naturally occurring minerals, scoring a seven on the Mohs scale. It's tough, widely used in watches, electronics, and even surgical tools. But toughness isn't the whole story. We place it under the press, silence. Then boom, it shatters like glass, shards flying outward in every direction. This is asterisk, asterisk, brittle failure, asterisk, asterisk. When a material cannot deform under stress, it simply breaks. Quartz is strong until it's not. Then we have asterisk, asterisk, basalt, asterisk, asterisk. Formed from rapidly cooled lava, basalt is fine-grained, dense, and used in industrial projects like roads, bridges, and even space equipment. Under pressure, it performs differently. Instead of exploding, it compresses, slowly. You'll see cracks forming, crumbling textures, and a gradual collapse. No dramatic burst, it's just steady failure. Basalt tells us that not all failures are instant, some happen quietly. Now let's test asterisk, asterisk, obsidian, asterisk, asterisk, volcanic glass. Shiny, beautiful, and razor sharp. Obsidian was once used to craft weapons and cutting tools, and even modern scalpels, but it's fragile and it knows it. Under the hydraulic press, obsidian barely lasts two seconds. It bursts with spectacular violence, sending black shards flying. It's one of the most dramatic failures you'll ever see. A perfect example of how beauty doesn't equal strength. And that brings us to asterisk asterisk marble asterisk asterisk. The stone of sculptures, cathedrals, and historical monuments. Composed mostly of calcite, marble is softer than the others, but it compresses elegantly. The press lowers, the marble resists, and then it crumbles like compressed sugar, a slow, powdery collapse. Even in destruction, marble is graceful. We've crushed ancient rocks. Now, let's turn to the creations of human ingenuity. Asterisk, asterisk, metals, asterisk, asterisk. First in line, asterisk, asterisk, hardened steel, asterisk, asterisk, a staple in tools, buildings, and machines. As we bring the press down, you won't hear a crack. You'll hear a groan. Steel doesn't break. It yields. It begins to bend, compress, and reshape. Absorbing pressure like a sponge absorbs water. This is asterisk, asterisk, ductility, asterisk, asterisk. The ability of a material to deform under stress without snapping. Hardened steel flattens into a shiny disk, but never truly fails. Next, asterisk, asterisk, titanium, asterisk, asterisk. Lightweight, strong, resistant to corrosion, titanium is a marvel of material science found in aircraft, implants, and deep-sea submersibles. The hydraulic press makes contact. Titanium resists. You can feel the tension in the air as it barely moves under immense force. Eventually, it gives, not with a break, but with a slow flattening. Controlled, elegant, still intact. Now we test asterisk, asterisk, tungsten, asterisk, asterisk, the king of density. Used in space technology, missiles, and industrial drills, this metal is unforgiving. Under the press, it refuses to move. For a few seconds, it looks like nothing will happen, but then, snap. A loud, clean fracture splits the tungsten in two. Tungsten is hard, but also brittle. It doesn't warn you, it just breaks. And now we reveal our secret weapon. I asterisk, asterisk, mystery alloy, asterisk, asterisk. No labels, no specs. 
just a block of unknown composition sourced from an aerospace materials lab. It goes under the press, no shattering, no sudden failure. It compresses slowly, stubbornly, and bends without breaking. There's no catastrophic event, just steady, silent resistance. This is engineering at its finest, yeah, where strength meets flexibility. We could stop there, but why would we? Let's test asterisk asterisk carbon fiber asterisk asterisk. The material of the future. Lightweight, incredibly strong under tension, used in race cars, bikes, and spacecraft. But under compression, it fails surprisingly fast. Layers begin to peel, fibers delaminate. Carbon fiber isn't built to be crushed, it's built to be pulled. That's the difference between tensile and compressive strength. Next up, asterisk, asterisk, ceramics, asterisk, asterisk. We tested a military-grade ceramic armor plate designed to stop bullets, but not designed to survive a crushing press. Under force, it explodes like stone. Even advanced materials have blind spots. We also test a asterisk, asterisk, composite panel, asterisk, asterisk. Layers of polymers, fibers, and resin often used in body armor and industrial shielding. Under the press, it compresses, then holds. Surprisingly tough. Composites are engineered to resist failure, and it shows. Let's try something natural again. Asterisk, asterisk, bone, asterisk, asterisk. A cow femur, strange, maybe. But bone is one of the most optimized structures in nature, hollow yet strong, porous yet dense. It lasts longer than expected. It compresses slowly then breaks with a dull fibrous snap not brittle not soft something in between evolution created a masterpiece of material balance we also tested asterisk asterisk wood asterisk asterisk several types soft pine hard oak and a rare piece of ironwood all of them resist surprisingly well especially along the grain ironwood in particular holds like a champion some trees are stronger than metal Nature knows what it's doing. Even asterisk, asterisk, plastic, asterisk, asterisk makes an appearance. High-density polyethylene. At first it compresses like rubber, but press further, and it flattens, distorts, and eventually tears apart. No drama. Just quiet failure. So what did we learn? That strength is asterisk, asterisk, never one-dimensional asterisk, asterisk. Some materials are asterisk, asterisk, hard asterisk, asterisk, but asterisk, asterisk, brittle, asterisk, asterisk. They shatter under impact. Others are asterisk, asterisk, soft, asterisk, asterisk, but asterisk, asterisk, tough, asterisk, asterisk. Able to deform and absorb energy without failing. Some resist compression, others resist tension. Very few resist both. Asterisk, asterisk, quartz, asterisk, asterisk, and asterisk, asterisk, tungsten, asterisk, asterisk, were the hardest. Asterisk, asterisk, titanium, asterisk, asterisk, and our asterisk, asterisk, mystery alloy, asterisk, asterisk, were the most resilient. Asterisk, asterisk, obsidian, asterisk, asterisk, had the most dramatic failure. Asterisk, asterisk, carbon fiber, asterisk, asterisk, showed how even high-tech materials can crumble. Asterisk, asterisk, bone. Asterisk, asterisk, and asterisk, asterisk, wood, asterisk, asterisk, reminded us that natural structures can rival the engineered. And the hydraulic press? It didn't lie. It revealed what each material is really made of. No theory, no simulation, just reality under pressure. This kind of testing may seem destructive, but it's deeply revealing. Every brake pattern tells you about internal structure. Every compression line shows you how force flows through matter. It's a way to learn not only what fails, but asterisk, asterisk, how asterisk, asterisk, and asterisk, asterisk, why asterisk, asterisk, it fails. And sometimes, what doesn't fail, that's what makes these tests addictive. Not just the drama, not just the crunch, but the insight. We're constantly surrounded by materials, in buildings, in vehicles, in tools, in our own bodies, yet we rarely think about how they behave under extreme conditions. This experiment isn't just about what breaks, it's about what survives, and what that survival means. We've tested the strongest materials we could find today, but the future is full of new contenders, asterisk artificial diamond composites, asterisk graphene-infused alloys, Asterisk ultra hard polymers, asterisk Martian stone samples, asterisk 3D printed ceramics with nanoscale lattice structures, and the hydraulic press will still be there, waiting to meet them. So what's next? Maybe we'll crush armor plating from a tank. Maybe we'll press volcanic rock from Iceland. Or maybe something fragile, like a Fabergé egg replica. 
just to remind ourselves that beauty and strength aren't always the same thing. Thanks for joining us on this crushing journey through science, materials, and raw power. We hope you saw something explode, something bend, and something that surprised you. Because in the end, that's what pressure does. It doesn't just destroy, it reveals. And sometimes, it teaches.